In this video, Timmy is going to show you how to empty the trash on Google Photos. Because when you delete a photo from Google Photos, it doesn't actually delete it straight away. It puts it into the trash folder in Google Photos, and it will stay there in the trash folder for the next 60 days before it actually gets permanently deleted. And normally this is fine if you just delete the occasional photo because it's a bit blurry or you don't really like it or something, it'll be in the trash folder for the next 60 days. So you'll have 60 days to change your mind and go back and take it back out of the trash folder before it gets permanently deleted, if you ever want to do that. And photos in the trash folder used to take up space on your Google storage quota. So you might want to delete them because of that, but they actually don't anymore. So any photos in your trash will not be using any extra storage space while they're waiting to be permanently deleted. So it's really not a big deal. But if you've been going through deleting a whole lot of photos and you're sure you definitely want to delete them all right now, you can go in and manually empty the trash folder so that all of those photos you've deleted will be deleted immediately and completely permanently rather than having to wait 60 days for them to actually be deleted. You can do this either on the Google Photos app on a phone or tablet, or the Google Photos website on a computer, and the changes will sync across all your devices, so just pick whichever one you want to use. But to me, I'll show you how it's done on both of them. If you're using the app on your phone or tablet, you'll need to tap Collections down here, on this bottom menu here. But if you're on a tablet, that button might be on the other side of the screen and it might be called library. So you could tap that and then tap trash, or you could just tap the trash button in the bottom of that menu if you want to on a tablet. And on some older phones where the app might not be up to date and possibly even all iPhones, the button might be library instead, and it might be in a slightly different position, but you only have one of these buttons, either collections or library. So just tap on whichever one you have, and then you'll be in basically the same menu once you do. And now, once you're in here, you need to tap on trash up the top here. So tap trash there, and now you'll be in your Google Photos trash folder. So. You can see all the photos in here that you've deleted within the last 60 days, and they're all sitting in here waiting to be permanently deleted. So you can scroll through them, and it's actually probably a good idea to scroll through first and just check if there's any photos that you actually want to take out of the trash folder and put back into your normal Google Photos library. So if there's any photo you don't want deleted, make sure you take that out now. But what you can do in here is you can tap this select button up here, and then you can choose this photo and this photo and this photo and this photo maybe. You can scroll through and select some photos, and then tap this delete button down here to just permanently delete a few specific photos from the trash folder. Or if you want to completely empty the trash folder and just delete all the photos inside it, you can tap this three dot icon up here and tap empty trash. And it will pop up with this warning that they will be permanently deleted. And that's very valid. You have to keep in mind, once you do this, there's absolutely no way you can undo it. These photos will all be completely gone and you can't ever get them back. But as long as you're sure you definitely want to delete all of the photos in this trash folder right now, go ahead and tap delete permanently. And might take a few seconds or even a minute or two if you have a lot of photos in the trash folder. But now, as you can see, it's completely deleted all the photos from the trash folder. So now you're done. You've emptied your trash in Google Photos. So you can go back out and go back to your regular photos. And that's all there is to it. And depending on your phone and how you have things set up, some of your photos on Google Photos might also be stored on your phone. And when you delete them from Google Photos, it will usually also delete them from your phone. And on most phones, photos you delete 
will then go into a trash folder on the phone, as well as a trash folder in Google Photos. But deleting the photos from the trash folder in Google Photos should also delete them from the trash folder on your phone. So it's a bit confusing with the double trash folders, but really, if you're just deleting photos from Google Photos, just do it all in Google Photos. And as long as you're happy for all of those changes to also be made on your phone, you really won't have to think about it. You can just do all of it in Google Photos. And that's all there is to using the Google Photos app on a phone or tablet. And on the Google Photos website, it's really pretty similar. When you're on the Google Photos website here, you need to come across to this left-hand menu here and then scroll down to basically the bottom of this menu. And you should see a trash folder here. So you can go ahead and click trash here. And now you'll see your Google Photos trash folder. So as we can see, we have all of these deleted photos here that were deleted in the past 60 days and they're waiting to be permanently deleted. So what to me would recommend you do first is just scroll through here and have a look and make sure there's nothing that you want to keep because once you do this, you can't undo it. So if there's anything in here you do want to keep, take it back out of the Google Photos trash folder and put it back into photos or something make sure it's out of the trash and saved in your library. But once you're sure you want to delete these photos, if you just wanted to permanently delete a few of them right now, you can hover your mouse over one and click on this little tick icon that appears to select one. And then you can click on any other photo that you want to select like that. And then you can click the delete permanently button here and just permanently delete these few that you've selected. But if you want to completely empty the trash and permanently delete everything that's inside the trash, you can go ahead and click this empty trash button near the top right hand corner here. And it will pop up with this warning telling you that you can't undo this. And that's very true. Once you have done this, there is absolutely no way you can get these photos back. They'll be permanently deleted forever. But as long as you're completely sure you definitely want to permanently delete all the photos in this trash folder, you can go ahead and click empty trash and it will permanently delete all of those photos and empty the trash. It might take a few seconds or even a few minutes if you have a lot of photos in trash. But now, as you can see, it's done and it says no items. So the trash is now empty and you can go back to your photos and do whatever else you want. But that's all there is to it. That's how you can empty the trash in Google Photos. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.